my name is Dawn Land. Yes, I am out there. And I am a Christian, conservative, Republican feminist. I am not afraid to stand in the face of hell to speak in defense of women and children because that's where I live. Where I'm from, we call hell Seattle. I want everyone to know that Washington State does not care about women. It was in my state where the, where the YMCA was one of the first businesses in the nation to push for men in dresses to have access to women's spaces. And no matter how hard we push back, women have continued to have our rights to privacy taken from us. Men in dresses are identifying their way into women's spas, women's sports, and even women's prisons. Washington State is so invested in allowing men in women's prisons that they passed a law blocking access to the women's prisons records because in Washington State, incarcerated women must suffer their state-sanctioned rapes in silence. Sorry. But most egregious of all is how Washington State pushes for the sterilization and mutilation of our children, sacrificing an entire generation to gender ideology. And the gender groomers want as many kids as they can get. After all, Seattle Children's Hospital has two pediatric gender clinics. One of them is exclusively for kids with autism. But make no mistake, as long as child sterilization and mutilation is allowed in any part of the United States, no child is safe anywhere in this country. Last year, Washington State passed a law that if a child expresses a gender identity, the state will hide the child from their parents what? and help them get what they refer to as gender-affirming care. I filed Referendum 101 against this bill, but we fell about 5,000 signatures short of getting it on the ballot, and I really tried. Washington State is not looking for just the children in our state. They want your children too. Just ask Texas, where it was discovered that Seattle Children's Hospital was giving puberty blockers and wrong sex hormones to kids, despite the Texas law against it. Washington State will hide kids from any state, from their parents, and provide them with sterilizing drugs and even surgeries of this so-called gender-affirming care. No child in this country is safe until we end gender ideology everywhere. Please, no matter where you live, no matter who you are, please be brave and speak against gender ideology because trans women are men. Sterilizing kids is not health care. And no one, no matter their age, is born in the wrong body. Thank you.